My name is Jan Welch, and welcome to episode 10 of The Vault on the Then and Now Blading YouTube channel. The Vault is my collection of VHSC, Hi8, and Mini DV tapes that I filmed throughout the years. For each episode of The Vault, we go through one of those tapes and I showcase the raw footage and the skating that happened during a session I was filming at the time. For today's episode, we go back to 2008. It was February 1st and 2nd of that year, and myself, John Elliott, Brian Shima, and Corey Casey had flown to Germany for Winter Clash. Now, before heading to Winter Clash, we got to run a car in Frankfurt, and we drove to Bad Reichenhall. And Bad Reichenhall is a town in the southeast corner of Germany. It's in Bavaria. It's about 20 miles from Salzburg. We went there to visit Ignition Skate Shop and skate at Ignition Skate Park. So this episode features the skating for one of those tapes at the session at the Ignition Skate Park, and it features a wide array of skaters, it has Dave Binsky, Gabriel Hyden, Brian Shima, John Elliott, Eric Bailey, it also has Ali Short, Cosimo Tazone, Fridolin Elbow, uh, John Julio, there was a bunch of people there. So it's a pretty awesome session. And this is one of two tapes from that session. So it doesn't have everyone's clips on there, but it has most of those people's clips on there. So I hope you enjoy this episode. If you do, make sure and hit the like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to be notified of all new uploads. And you can follow me on social media. I have links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in the description below, as well as a link to my Patreon page if you want to support this channel. For as little as $3 a month, you can get exclusive access to video content, photos, editorial, all sorts of stuff from the past 20 years of my blading history that's not available on this YouTube channel. There's also a donation link if you want to take that route. Let's get started with episode 10 of The Vault. First skater up is Gabriel Hayden. And Gabriel is actually from Salzburg, which is only 20 minutes by car from Bad Reichenhall. And Gabriel now lives in Vienna. He works on video production, he does music videos, commercials, he plays in a band called Vague that's really cool. And he released a VOD last year called Glue, or maybe two years ago now, but that's super rad, you should check it out. This park is incredible, solid wood, floors, everything. And it was built, this version of the park was built in 2007. Dave Binsky, I love this guy, he's from Nuremberg originally, he lives in Berlin now, also an artist, does work for Nike, he's a graphic designer. He does a uh, print magazine called Plasma Magazine, and it's just a cool art magazine. He does a lot of cool collages. I have a link to his work in the description below. You can check it out. Same with Gabriel's. Now, we've got some local kids and Cosimo from Switzerland rode for Valo. He was the first Valo guy to show up at the park today. Eventually, we're going to have Eric Bailey showing up with Alex Braskow, John Julio, Dave Binsky with the Three Fish. Pretty sick. Um, and the One Magazine guys came. There was Wes Driver and Justin was there. And Ollie Short. And who else? Um, John Elliott. He's going to be skating later. But Dave Binsky's got such good style. Love it. This park is kind of weird because it's... It's very cross traffic, you know, you come from one way or the other. So there was a lot of people at the session and there was a lot of people in this Ignition Valley at the time. Now, it's, Ignition was a skate shop. It was very big in Europe in the mid 2000s. And it originally started in Salzburg by Leo Donhauser, about 2001 or something, I believe. And he moved to Bad Reichenhall to live with his friend Sebastian Schultz and Sebastian's parents own a really old house across the street from this park where they opened Ignition Skate Shop. And it's a legendary building. It has a, had a bar in it. So it was the post office. It was built in like 1265. Super old. Sebastian's grandfather even thinks it was older than that. He says it's like from 970. So it's historic. And what's cool about this session is John Elliott grew up in Vienna. So you know, he's not Austrian, but his parents were American and he grew up there. So he grew up with, with Frito. A couple guys at the session were guys he grew up with before moving to the States. So that was really cool for him. Now at this time, we also had Philip Forstner living there. And Philip was a photographer for BMAG. 
He came out to San Diego quite a bit, as did Stefan Horngacher because he rode for Razors. So it was a pretty vibrant scene. And especially at this time, I mean, people from all around the world would go there. So I know Sebastian, like, he put in a lot of work with this, and he's still there. He still hosts a, a barbecue and beer jam every two to three years out of his mini skate park he has his house but they also have a new concrete park there now so it's pretty rad and he's more than welcoming to anyone who wants to go to the ignition valley to visit and skate hit him up social media sebastian schultz super super cool guy and we're talking about the mountains here very beautiful now around 2005 andreas wagon blast moved there and um yo yo jacoby from winter clash they all worked at Ignition. So it was a big family there. And in 2006, they got this building. They had just a little bunch of P rails, random stuff in there. And that next year, they actually built this amazing park. And it only lasted for about two years before they shut it down. They ended up moving to Berlin. Um, Yo Yo, Leo, some of the other guys, Wagon Blast, I believe, they all moved to Berlin did Ignition out of Berlin for several years, and it's still around, Ignition Shop. Leo's still doing it, but they don't sell inline skates anymore. It's more of a bike shop. At least it was bikes last time I was there. But I don't think he's doing any blading anymore. I'm not sure why he decided that, but it was definitely one of the biggest and most influential skate shops in Europe at the time. And, you know, it's always, I always loved the German scene, the Austrian scene. And the thing, like, um, Andreas Wagenblast is cool. He's from the part of Germany my mom's from, or, you know, where my aunt lives now. So, kind of cool relation. We got Shima to shred in this park. <laughs> Everyone was so stoked that day. And I remember we got there, and it was a blizzard. We drove through a blizzard from Frankfurt. John was driving. We had a Skoda. And... He was the only car on the Autobahn, and we get there, it's, it's completely covered in snow, super cold. I was pretty excited because, you know, at that time we were living in San Diego, and we don't have uh, snow, you know, unless you drive the Big Bear and go snowboarding or skiing or whatever, but that's still two hours away. Got the ignition logo back there. Now this is also a good place for skiing. I'd love to go back there for that. There's a bathhouse here in Bad Reichenhall. It's, uh, I don't know the name of it, but you have all these pools. They're different temperatures. Some of them have salt in them. So much salt that you float on top, but you put your ears underneath the water, and you can hear music. And you go outside, and it's like snowing, and it's warm. And there's jets going around, and old people floating in circles. It's super rad. And they have like the really ice-cold water, where they put like salt in it, so... It doesn't freeze, but it's like below freezing. And then you just jump in the hot tub afterwards. So really my favorite place in the world I've ever been is that bathhouse in Bad Reichenhall. So I went there four years ago, stayed with Sebastian, who was a great host. And I had a wonderful time revisiting the bathhouse. Now we've got these guys showing up. we got Wes Driver. we got Ollie Short. we got Eric Bailey. And Brandon Smith right there walking into the frame. So he was along skating and doing a lot of photos. I love Ollie. Miss that guy. Just reconnected with him again on social media. It's been a long time since I had talked to him. And he did do an edit recently. I don't know if you guys saw it. I'll try to link that in the description below as well. Oh, they're just having a fun, having a session here. Cheers. Bailey's got the sweet stash. I remember the first time I met Bailey was in 1998. He was on tour with John Elliott for Box Magazine. It was John Elliott, Eric Bailey, and Amon Marchan, and they came to Austin, Texas to an electric roller drum skate park. And I filmed with them all, and that's the first time I met John, Eric, and Armand, and obviously became friends with John Elliott, you know, doing rat tail with him and this trip. And, you know, Bailey was always a super rad guy. I always enjoyed seeing him. And he's such a shredder. I like this video because John's skating in it. And this is already after John stepped back from skating. So, you know, we started NIM and he decided to start skating again. 
And this is really one of the few sessions you're going to see of him actually skating the skates and doing some tricks. And it's pretty cool because, you know, even though he had pulled back from skating, he still got a steezy style and doing some cool tricks. And, you know, 2008, Plaid was in. Got Bailey and John. Rock the Plaid. Shima. Oh, 360 soul. Eat shit. Here's me. Long, out of control hair. Uh. I don't remember Shima doing true top acid too often. Cosmo with a zero alley of top acid. Me missing Shima's beginning of that trick. John always made one like trick look so stylish. Even that little Royale was stylish. Now some of those guys standing up there are guys that John grew up with in Vienna. I don't remember their names, but now John's trying some cool stuff with his spine, a little tap to sass. These days, I mean, this trip was crazy because this is when Winter Clash was still in Mulhausen in Germany. And when we left this park and we left Ignition Valley, oh, that was so sick. To drive to Winter Clash, we stopped at a rest stop on the interstate to get coffees. And we were pulled over by border police, or they came to our car when we were stopped. And they wanted to search us for drugs or whatever because we we're right on the border, so they they think we we're bringing drugs across. Um, and they look at our passports, and you know, Shima's passports like every country in the world, so he looks like some big time like bad boy and and uh, all this stuff. And me and John both, he's more fluent in German than I am, but I'm you know I can speak it, get by, and I understand it all. So we know exactly what they're saying, but they don't know we know what they're saying. So we're just kind of, you know, going with it. Um, it was pretty funny, but they definitely detained us for about two hours because John had a bag of fiber in a Ziploc for, you know, to help him use the bathroom better. And the guy picks up out of his bag and he goes, drugs, drugs, we got drugs. And, and uh, <laughs> they had a, somebody come to field test it and realize it wasn't drugs and let us go. So that was a really crazy ordeal, and that was from here to Winter Clash. So John's trick right there, that disaster, dark side, alley-oop top horn, is super sick, especially, like I said, since he hasn't been skating. And that power side, fakey spin to whatever Ali just did, was really cool. I haven't really seen too many people power slide tricks like that. <laughs> so, yeah. I want to see some more of that. And that's Friedland. Friedland Elbow from Vienna. He lives in Colombia now. He is still skating hard. He was very good at this. On this, this guy just broke it through the ramp with his skate. On this trip, we went to a bar in Salzburg, and everyone was pretty wasted. A lot of crazy stuff happened, but there was a staircase. We were on the second floor, and I was just see glass bottles fly down the staircase breaking and it was Friedland just throwing glass bottles down the staircase <laughs> causing a ruckus see there's a lot of people I mean this is a small town like I said like 18,000 people and there's a ton of skaters there back then uh, Bailey's got such good style I can't wait to find a second tape because this thing got me juice. I think when I find the tape, I will go ahead and ma remaster this into HD. I'll go ahead and up resolution. Up resolution. I'll go ahead and up the resolution and make a remix. Go ahead and do a remix edit to some music because between the two tapes, there's some cool skating. And there's some B-roll. There's some B-roll I didn't actually put in here just because it was really long. And I like to keep the vault to just the skating. So I will be releasing B-rolls 
soon. Some of it will be on a Patreon and some of it will be on the YouTube. But fret not. There's going to be a lot of content coming up in the future. I have so many tapes. Ah, that was a sick line. Freeland again. We're ending. The tape is about to end. So we've got this last clip from Eric Bailey. And he's pretty much over skating at this point. Yep. Wrap. All right. And that was some really good skating from some really good skaters. I mean, all these tapes I've been putting up, episodes of Vault, it's just amazing skating. I mean, I was around some of the best skaters of the time in the 2000s. And being able to travel to places like Germany for Winter Clash and Tignition Valley, it was really awesome. And I'm very lucky to have experienced all of that during my career. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure and hit the like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to be notified of all new uploads. Now, for every video I upload, I do a premiere. And in the premiere, there's a live chat, and I'm at every live chat for every video, be it the podcast, these vaults, the uncut series. I'm always there, so you can find me, you can talk to me, you can chat with me, ask me questions about the videos. And you can only do that if you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified anytime a premiere happens. Now, I also have social media. I have links to that in my description below. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I have links to my Patreon page and a donation page as well. And for as little as $3, you can support me through Patreon. There's different tiers, and different tiers have access to different things. Lots of exclusive videos, photos, audio, different things from my past 20 years of skating, as well as ad-free versions of all the videos, the podcasts, everything. So go ahead and check that out. All of my links are in the description below. Thank you for watching this episode of The Vault. The next Vault episode coming out will be the best of The Vault Part 2. And that is going to be the last five episodes of The Vault, all the best tricks edited together to music. So it'll be a remix. Super exciting. The first one is ready on a page. Check it out. Part one with the best of the vault series edited to music. So yeah. Anyway, I hope to see you all at my next premiere in the live chat. And I look forward to talking to anyone who wants to talk to me. All right. Take care. Goodbye.